you guys welcome back it's been a bit of time in true Kristen fashion my weekly stitch videos are not weekly <laughs> um, we've had a lot going on so I've had to go out of town a couple more times last week I didn't get to film because we had special Olympics with my little guy which was a lot of fun which I keep calling him my little guy he's not little anymore <laughs> He is 11 going he's he'll be 12 in a few months and he's in middle school and so I probably need to stop calling him my little guy so um but just a lot going on and so I haven't been able to do these weekly like I want to and as much as I want to be able to do them weekly things are about to get equally as hectic here because I have my son coming home from college <laughs> And then it'll be summertime, so everybody's going to be home, and I do not like to film in front of everyone. I don't know why. I just have this weird thing. Even though they're my family, I should feel totally comfortable with them. I do, but they like to do weird things <laughs> behind the camera that makes me laugh, and so I lose my focus. <laughs> but anyways, so starting off today, of course, what is in my mug? In my cute little... I'm going to call him an alpaca. He's probably just a llama, but I'm going to say he's my little alpaca. Anyways, we have an Earl Grey. Um, this is Earl Grey. Earl <laughs> I can't even talk. Uh, Sips by Yuzu Cream Earl Grey. So obviously it came out of one of my Sips by boxes. I don't remember which month, but that is what I'm sipping on today. Um, it's too hot to actually sip on it, but it smells wonderful so that is my tea that I am drinking so if you guys would like to grab a beverage or a snack um, I don't have a lot in terms of finished objects or works in progress <laughs> because again it's, we've been busy <laughs> so my one finished object I do have though is one of my dishcloths <laughs> I have my February dishcloth. We are in April and I just finished February, but I'm very proud of myself because look at that heart. And I feel like my stitches look fairly good. I did attempt to block this, but I need blocking things. Like I don't have the blocking mat and the little pins and all, so I need to invest in that. I just tried to do like a wash and then kind of manipulate it, but it came out so good. So um, this is the Linzer cookie dishcloth from Kitchen Sink Shop. It is part of her year of dishcloth patterns. You can actually get the patterns for free at the first of every month if you register, or, um, was it, subscribe to her newsletter. So I will leave her link in the description box. But I'm loving this because I started trying to knit on a sock. Um, my very first knitting project. I didn't do, I haven't done too well with that. In fact, it's not even on the needles right now. <laughs> I am going to keep attempting it, but, um, these have been great because these little dishcloths are fairly simple, but it also incorporates lots of things like increases and decreases. And so like lace work and I have my, you know, stockinette and your garter stitch. And it's just, I'm learning a lot through the dishcloth. So I love that. So that is my finished item. And this is just, um, Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. This is the purple color. Um, this is one for myself. I'm eventually going to be knitting some for friends and family for Christmas gifts. But for now, I'm going to work on mine just until I really get the hang of things and get my tension right and have them where they are nice and presentable for gift giving. So my work in progress is the March dishcloth, which I am actually flying through this since I started it. And this is the biscotti um, pattern. And yes, each of these are named after cookies. Um, so Garlene did name each of these patterns, um, for a sweet treat. Um, and she includes a recipe with them. So I think that's really cool. But yes, this is the biscotti dishcloth and this is knit on Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton. This is the bruschetta color. Um, but it's just, it looks harder than what it is. It has a cool like cable look to it. And this is just from a really, um, simple little, um, twist stitch that you add in every four rows. And so that's, even the back looks pretty cool. It just looks like a nice wide rib, but it's fairly simple. Like I, knock on wood, I hope I don't jinx myself. 
I have not frogged this at all whatsoever. I have not gone through, I have not unknit any stitch. I think I unknit maybe one stitch and unpearled a stitch um, in a row somewhere here and there. But I have not totally ripped the whole thing out and started over again. <laughs> My other two dishcloths, I probably started about 10 or 12 times. <laughs> But this one, I have not start over at all. This is my dishcloth that I started with. I just got a little stitch stopper on there. This is the one I began with. I am still working on it. And I'm about two thirds of the way through this. So I'm so excited. I'm like, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm becoming a knitter. I'm so excited because I am a crocheter. Um, and I've just been self teaching myself to knit. I've been learning from YouTube tutorials. <laughs> so that's my only whip right now. I don't have anything else I've been working on because I've just been so busy. So um, the rest of this really is, there's not a whole lot to it. The rest of it is yarn. Yes. Um, I have a lot of yarn <laughs> to show you. For, for someone who's not doing a lot of active knitting and crocheting, I have a lot of yarn that's coming in. <laughs> so, um, let's see. My trusty little list here. So, first thing I have, I have subscribed to Yarnable. And look at her packaging. How cute is that, Yarnable? So, Yarnable is a subscription service from a, um, a dyer. Um... Uh, hypnotic hip, hypnotic yarns. Um, I will leave uh, links um, in the link that I'm going to leave or the code I'm going to leave. I don't have a code. I used the Crazy Sock Ladies code that gave me $5 off my first subscription. So thank you to Kay for having that and for giving us that. Um, but yeah, I um, this is so this is out of New Hampshire and you get a bag of goodies. How cool is that? So it's not just yarn. You get all kinds of goodies. And there are several different ones, or not several, but there's a few different ones. You can get fingering weight, you can get DK weight, you can get one skein, you can get two skeins, and I just went for the one skein of fingering weight. So, first we'll look at the yarn. I apologize for the crinkles. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my April one, and this ships fast. It ships before the first of the month that's coming so like i just got my may yarnable today so it's really fun for when you want to actually get your yarn you know and be able to start on a project the first of the month so um and like i said it came from new hampshire i'm in north carolina and i think i get the shipping notification like yesterday maybe the day before um but this is the april colorway so this is their fingering um their fingering weight which is plush sock base um 85 15 Superwash Merino Nylon, um, and yeah, it's a 100 gram skin. Uh, a 100 gram skin. <laughs> a 100 gram skein. Um, and this colorway is called Some Bunny Loves You. So there it is. And it is really pretty. So you have like, it's hard to see my eyes. <laughs> The sun is shining in, and so it's causing my eyes to do weird things. So it's like a natural color, and there's some browns, and there's some purple. And you guys know how you feel about purple. So very, very pretty. Um, if you watch the Crazy Sock Lady, she just did her Follow Your Path socks in this colorway. Um, and I really like that. So it is soft and squishy, and I love it. So you also get in your package here... Um, you get a little bag of goodies, which I'm totally excited about. Um, I did already peek at this. <laughs> I've already seen a few people unbox theirs, but you get a card too. And it just talks about your, um, a whole bunch of little different things about your subscription. And there are other goodies by other makers, which is fun. So you get to, um, explore other, um, handmade shops, you know, and whatnot. So it says... Somebody Loves You, which is what we already said was the um, colorway. Um, talks about the extras. There's a little scratch code um, there that is valid for the entire month. That's what is good about, too, about it coming at the beginning of the month, is you can use this code for the entire month, which I haven't. I need to scratch that off and maybe buy some yarn today. Because <laughs> um, today is the 28th. I have a couple of days. Um, there's a little fun fact about the Velveteen Rabbit. So did you know the Velveteen Rabbit was William's first children's book? So it's pretty cool. Um, 
So the first thing we have is, I'm just going to go by what the card says. Um, this is from Firefly Notes. And it is a little bunny progress keeper. And it is so cute. Let's see if I can turn it around. It's like very detailed, very 3D. Like you can see the little bunny's face. Look, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, so that is from Firefly Notes. Um, and then next we have a treat. Oh, I love treats. I love treats. <laughs> um, this is carrot cake toffee. Whoops, I dropped it. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to pick it up. <laughs> All right, so carrot cake toffee, and this is from um, Home H O L M Toffee Company, or Home Made Toffee Company. And look at that. Oh, that looks so good. I bet it really is good. I can't wait to try that. I'll have that with some tea. Um, and I love carrot cake. So it is, they are out of Oregon. I'll read a little bit about them. So um, it says award winning toffee topped with creamy white chocolate. Baking spices, freeze-dried carrots, and finish with roasted Oregon hazelnuts. So they are out, actually out of Oregon. Bend, Oregon is where they're from. That is really, no gluten, no soy. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm excited about that. Um, and then the last thing we have is we have a wooden pinch bowl by Mally Shop. So M-A-L-L-Y Shop. And I can leave the shop, um, all the different shops down in the description box, but it, it says wooden pinch bowl. And it says these little birch wood bowls are fantastic for holding your stitch markers. That is so cute. And it's handmade. Like, I love that. I love handmade. So that is my, um yarnable subscription and I have more yarn <laughs> all right so next we have uh some yarn from the stitch witch in Bedford Virginia which I talked about in my last video so it is a very small yarn shop well, not very small but it's a small yarn shop um in a little town in Virginia that is kind of in between Lynchburg and Roanoke. Uh, I had to visit there a few times, um, or at least once a month for some appointments that my daughter has. Uh, and so I had intentions, this is the yarn I had intentions of buying when I went there this time because I saw it there the last time and just didn't pick it up for some reason. So this is by Cesium Yarns. So Cesium, of course, is one of the elements on the periodic tea table <laughs> breathe Kristen <laughs> um so it is like these really cool denim blues and browns different shades of brown on like what appears to either be a really light blue or a white base um it is uh merino sock so 75 percent superwash merino 25 percent nylon and so cesium is out of Roanoke, Virginia, which, like I said, is not very far from Bedford. So it's Bedford's like in between, you know, Roanoke and Lynchburg. Um, and a cool story about cesium yarn. So this is what I love about yarn. It can have a story behind it. Um, cesium yarns, uh, it, the owner or one of the dyers actually was a chemist. And I think she actually um, discovered, some, made some scientific discoveries in her time as a chemist. Um, she is a cancer survivor. I thought that was really cool because I am also a cancer survivor. I mean, I think it's cool anyways, but I don't know. I just always, when I hear about other cancer survivors, it's really cool uh, just to hear about. Um, so of course, hence the name Cesium Yarns because she was a chemist. Uh, and so this is, Die specifically for the Stitch Witch in Bedford um, because I guess, and I don't really know because I didn't even know about Bedford um, in, ex until recently, um, I guess they had moved their shop from one place to where they are now. And where they are now, they are behind a little coffee shop, which is so good. The little Bridge Street Cafe, if you're ever in Bedford, they have the best mint chip matcha latte. <laughs> I will just leave it at that. Um, so this was dyed specifically for them. The browns are a nod to their location behind the coffee shop. And then the blues, um, I guess the owner's favorite book um, has to do, um, has a character who wears blue overalls. And that's what the blues signifies, the denim blues. So 
I love this. I love the story behind it. Um, when I buy yarn, I mean, I will buy yarn just because it's pretty, but a lot of times I love to buy yarn if it has a story that is meaningful to the dyer or if it's something meaningful to myself. That's what I really want to buy it. So that is my purchase from the Stitch Witch in Bedford. And I will also, I will leave info for the Stitch Witch as well as cesium in the uh, comments. So let's see what I have here. And if you are in the Bedford area, they are having Bedford Fiber Fest this weekend. Today is April 28th. This weekend is Bedford Fiber Festival. So um, that's actually a little card. I know this is going to go up later. So um, it's actually tomorrow. <laughs> um, you might not see this in time for that, but just so you know, I wish I could be there. We have something else going on tomorrow. All right, my next yarn that I got. Yes, I know I have a lot of yarn. We have three by the sea designs. Um, this is a new company to me. Well, first time I'm purchasing. I've been following her for a little bit. Um, she is out of Riverview, Florida. So uh, she has a podcast that I've been listening to or been watching, catching up with. But this is a yarn that as soon as I saw it on my newsfeed and my Instagram, I knew I had to have it. It is called Blossoms Over Tokyo, and this is a sock set, of course. Um, and actually, I went to purchase this. I put it in my cart on Etsy. They are on Etsy. Um, and it sold out. So I messaged her, and I was like, please tell me you're going to be dying more of this. And she goes, I'll see if I can. And then she messaged me, and she's like, I found one more sock set. And I was just like, yes, I'll buy it. <laughs> I was like, just please. So she did a reserved listing for me. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so made in sunny Florida. Oh, I wish I was in Florida right now. <laughs> um, we love Florida. Uh, so um, like I said, they are in, yeah, they are on Etsy. Um, they also sell project bags and um, stitch markers and project progress keepers. So blossoms over Tokyo. I mean, look how gorgeous. And I think what really got me about this is she posted her sock she made in which she like faded some of the two colors together to make or, you know, stripe them to make it look like a really cool fade. And I'm like, that's exactly how I want to do this. So when I get really good at making socks, that's how I want to use this. So I picked this up and cherry blossoms are my absolute favorite flower. My husband and I want to go to Tokyo. Well, we want to go to Japan one day. We want to visit like so many places in Japan, Tokyo being one of them. So, so that to me, like had a lot of meaning. If anybody has yarn, progress keepers, anything that is uh, cherry blossom themed, sakura themed, I will be buying it. <laughs> so I also picked up a little progress keeper, a little cherry blossom progress keeper, because you know, I just had to have that to go with the yarn. And then of course I got a treat. She sent a few little light bulb markers here and some raspberry royale tea. I love Bigelow tea, so that's really cool. And then of course her business card. Um, I don't want to open this yet though, <laughs> uh, but I thought that was really neat. So that is more yarn, right? Um, there is another thing of cherry blossom yarn I want to get. Oh my goodness, it's stuck to the package. No. <laughs> okay. Um, there's another dyer, and if I get it, I will show you guys. <laughs> I might get it, I might not. I hope I can. But anyways, it's just gorgeous. And this is their Sanibel based fingering sock set. Um, 75% merino, super wash merino, 25% and nylon. So I love that. I'm gonna have all this sock yarn, and one day I'm gonna be really good at making socks, and I'm gonna go sock crazy. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be getting socks. <laughs> So that is my three by the sea designs yarn. And I have one more thing of yarn for you guys. Like I said, I did get my May yarnable, but I don't want to show you guys that yet because it's not even May. So hopefully that'll be next week, but let's be real. It's probably going to be next month, like, like several weeks later, probably <laughs> that I get that to you guys. So the last but not least with yarn is my Mandy's making yarn. So this is um, my cousin Mandy. I always love to say that. I'm like a fangirl over the fact that 
my cousin is a yarn dyer and she dyes gorgeous yarns and and I always just like to brag that she's my cousin <laughs> um, if you are familiar with Mandy's makings then you know but if you are not please check her out she is the sweetest can be not just that she makes beautiful yarns but she is just a beautiful human um, a percentage of her yarn sales goes to uh, aid human trafficking victims so that's amazing. Her mom's amazing. I just love them both. Um, but yes, she has a monthly sock club and it is this month or this year's theme are coffee shops. And I'm sorry, I did not get all the info on the coffee shop this time, but our coffee shop for the month of, oh, look at that. Our coffee shop for the month of April is the New Holland Coffee Company. I am not familiar with where they are, but I will post some info in the description box. But this month we have, of course, we have our browns, like very dark, almost black brown. Maybe it is black. Um, it might be more black, but she does. So she'll take a, pic a few pictures of the coffee shops. Um, she had some people um, write in and vote on some coffee shops um, at the uh, last year. She's like, if you have any coffee shops you want me to feature, let me know. So whether she picked this one or whether this was a subscriber's pick, I'm not sure. Um, but um, she goes through and she kind of picks out some colors in the picture. And so we've got some green. We've got this color, which I don't know if it's supposed to be like a, a dark black charcoal color or if it's supposed to be brown and my eyes are fooling me. But either way, I love it. It kind of reminds me of like a peppermint mocha sort of like a dark chocolate peppermint mocha. <laughs> but I love the colors. She picks the most gorgeous colors for these sock sets every month. And yeah, so that is all my yarn that I have acquired. <laughs> all that's all just just that little bit right um it's like christmas for me this month and yes i i love yarn um it makes me happy so i do have family members that are like oh you hoard your yarn and i'm like yep <laughs> i don't even deny it yes i do i save them until i find the perfect project so um that's really all for today i don't really have a whole lot um I have been, like I said, I've been, I just discovered the Three by the Sea Designs podcast on YouTube. Um, of course, I watch Crazy Sock Lady all the time. And then I've been binging a homespun house. I really love hers. Molly's really fascinating. Um, she is an American living in Germany with her husband and her two girls. She's lived there for quite a while now, um, from my understanding. In fact, I'm going back to the beginning of what I haven't watched yet. And I'm all the way up to like the year 2017, if that tells you how long she's been living there. And she was living there a long time before that. Um, so just to see, like, to learn different things about German culture from her. Um, she dyes some of the most gorgeous yarn. So if you have not checked her out, um, check out her, um, her shop. Um, she does make some project bags from time to time. Um, she just, uh, her yarn is gorgeous. I don't have any of it. She does an advent. So that's how I discovered her was, um, back during Vlogmas, a few different, um, uh, people on YouTube had done, had some, had gotten her advent and she had just some pretty yarn. So anyways, that is all for today. I'm going to hop off here and I hope to see you guys next week. <laughs> Not like in three or four weeks. <laughs> But until then, you guys take care. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.